Hello my loves and welcome to our new moon video for May 2019. I absolutely love creating these videos for you guys and also creating these meditations for both the full and the new moon to really help you with your goal setting, just to better understand yourself, discover new parts of yourself, shed old layers. I love giving you this space and helping you with your journey. So if you guys are liking the new and full moon videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up so I know to make more videos for you guys. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are enjoying these videos and want to see more of them. So with Without further ado, let's jump into this new moon in Taurus. All right, so this new moon is hitting on Saturday, May 4th, 2019. And this new moon in Taurus is bringing a lot of creative energy and a lot of also fire and earth energies. And with the new moon in Taurus, Taurus being ruled by the planet Venus, which is about love and money, there's going to be a lot of things in your life that are highlighted in reference to love and money. So just be on the lookout for those things. And with this Taurus energy, it's it's really going to help you expand your mind to be able to see the beauty and sensual sensuality in all things. And sensuality is not just like with sex or anything like that. It's sensuality is like being present with all of your senses, really grasping, tasting, looking, touching, you know, all of the senses in life, but also the intangible senses. So those senses that are like your gut feelings, your intuition. So Taurus is, it's really sensual. So just allow yourself just like our tarot card reading actually for this month of may it's about finding and discovering the beauty in all people places situations objects in your life it's about discovering the beauty and there's this creative nature that's with you now to start to look at things differently maybe you know put on that creative cap maybe look at your situation with relationships or um, with yourself for self-love or with money and finances be able to look at them in a different way and find the beauty and the creativity and find the beauty and the opportunities and the things that you have right here in front of you that are tangible and because venus is in the sign of aries during this full moon there's this fiery energy this um, feeling it's the throat chakra, Aries is ruled by the throat chakra, so there's going to be this feeling of wanting to speak out and this fiery energy of moving forward. So you have the earth energy, that seed of life, that discovery, that creativity, that sensuality, and also this fiery energy to push you forward. So it's a really great time to get creative and also move forward with whatever, whatever your dreams are and things like that. I'm going to touch a little bit more on that in a second. But with the Venus being in Aries and Aries being ruled by the throat, there's going to be this big want to speak out and make sure that you're tuning in and checking in with how you're speaking out, where it's coming from. Is it coming from anger, fear, um, resentment, hesitation, or is it coming from a place of love and kindness, compassion, and understanding? And if you guys haven't watched my mindful communication video, I will link that down below so that you can just uh, operate with a little bit more knowledge on how to mindfully communicate and they also express yourself in the world and to do it in a way that's helpful to the entire collective and yourself. So we have Neptune in a sextile in the sign of Pisces. So with Pisces there's this dreamy, very dreamy energy but we have this also grounding energy of Taurus. So just understand and know that there's beauty in your dreams and that this energy of Taurus is really trying to help you anchor them, root them down in this earthly energy to bring them out into this tangible reality. Couple more things that are really important to note are that Uranus is in the sign of Taurus and it's been moving into this sign of Taurus. It's going to be here for the next seven years and what's really important to note about Uranus being in Taurus is that it's helping you tune into all your senses. Remember, Taurus is all about the senses, sensuality. 
Uranus is about more about that intuition. So it's really here to help you tune in to not only those tangible senses, but also those intangible feelings of gut feelings, your intuition. And usually your intuition is that first thought, that first reaction before you start to bring in, sorry, my nose is so itchy today, before you start to bring in those those analytical thoughts that monkey mind okay so just really be tuning into your intuition use this month as a time and space to tune into that to grow in your intuition and to trust it because uranus moving is in taurus and it's going to be there for a while so it's a good time to start playing and practicing and getting to know the feelings of your intuition and the senses that come up with your intuition simply investigate and listen, keep your eyes open, and really allow yourself to think creatively to discover more fully the beauty in all of the situations and opportunities, people's places, things that are in your life because the beauty is there. And again, like I said, for our May Collective Tarot card reading, I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it. It's all about discovering the beauty that is around you and within you and just present in your life that is really easy to see and miss when we're so diehard focused on a certain goal. This is really just going to help you to manifest your dreams more fully by thinking creatively about it and working with the power of intuition to manifest it in this reality. So with all of that being said, remember that earth energy is here for you, helping you to root down fiery creative energy or fiery energy is here to help move you forward and really give you a lot of passion with what it is that you're trying to bring down into this reality and manifest in your life. So this is a really great time for you to get truthful and honest with yourself, discovering what you need and want and having the energy to bring it forward. So without further ado, I am excited to bring you this meditation. If you are new to meditation, I recommend that you find something you can lean back on, whether it's a chair or a couch or sitting in the seat of your parked car. Just finding something to support your spine, to support your back while you're building those muscles for meditation to sit up straight without support. And just find a comfortable seated position and we will jump right in to the meditation. Now with the eyes gently closed, take a deep breath in through the nose, out through the nose, allowing yourself to settle into this space that we are going to create together, the space of stillness and peace and higher listening. Taking another deep breath in through the nose and out through the nose, allowing yourself to settle into this position. And in this moment, giving yourself permission to be still and to simply listen instead of analyze or manipulate thoughts, words, feelings, sensations. You're simply here to observe. So give yourself permission and set that intention to simply listen throughout this meditation. And let us bring our awareness now to either the tip of your nose or your throat, or maybe you want to move into the chest or belly. Choose one single point to use as your anchor throughout this meditation. This anchor point is the space where you can observe the breath, observing 
the inhales, and all the sensations that arise with the inhales through the nostrils or throat or chest or belly. And the same as you exhale, watching all of the sensations that arise as you exhale. Taking the next few moments to observe the breath in whichever point you have chosen. Observe the sensations that occur as you inhale and as you exhale. And now that you have gotten to know your breath a little bit more deeply, observed where it's at right here and now, let us draw our awareness now up to the crown chakra, the top of your head, this skylight that we can open up into the higher consciousness, this place where we connect with intuition, Source, God, universe, love, whatever you wish to call it. This is your place of connection here in the crown chakra. So allow yourself to open up this space. Open up the crown chakra. Allowing in guidance and intuition this connection to a higher source. And as that skylight of your crown chakra opens, just allow your body to feel open. Allowing all that light to pour into your skylight, connecting you with higher source. Filling your body with light and this connection, this expansive feeling of openness. And unconditional love filling you all the way from your head down through the face. Filling your neck and throat and down through the chest and arms, filling you with this expansive, beautiful, unconditional love and connection. Through the skylight, it fills your body now all the way through chest and back, mid back and mid belly, low belly and low back and into your hips. Allowing you to feel connected to the higher source and unconditional love that is always surrounding you. Pouring now down into your thighs and hamstrings, through your knees, down your shins and calves, and all the way down through your feet and toes, allowing your entire body to relax and be at ease, filled with this unconditional love and connection.
and now sending that unconditional love and connection out through the bottom of your feet into the earth straight down into the core of the earth and then pulling that energy back up from the core of the earth and into your body all the way up through feet and toes through the body and out through your crown chakra solidifying this connection with source and unconditional love guidance and intuition connected to higher source above you allowing it to pour and radiate through your body all the way down through the layers of rock and earth and into the core of earth and then drawing it back up again into the body and out through the crown simply allowing yourself to be present here with this energy as it moves through you grounds into the earth and as it rises from the earth into your body and out through your crown chakra connecting to higher source that collective consciousness that's above you that you can lock into and tap into And now from this space of connection, this higher perspective, I offer you this next question. Where in my life am I willing to look at things differently? instead of allowing the answer to come from the analytical monkey mind feel the answer as sensations see the answer as flickering images that pour from this connection with higher source Where in my life am I willing to look at things differently? No need to figure out the how right now. Instead, simply tapping into sensations or images that arise from this higher connection, from this place of unconditional love. Where in my life Am I willing to look at things differently?
And take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale out through the nose. And again, deep inhale in through the nose. And as you exhale, release all of the images, sensation, words that appear to you in this meditation. Release them to source, God, universal, love, or universe, whatever you call it. Release them to that higher consciousness. Knowing full well that they will give you inspiration and the creative approach that you need to change the things in your life that you are willing to now look at differently. Deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth again, exhale and release those images, sensations, words that appeared. Putting your faith in the intangible, higher consciousness, knowing it will provide you with inspiration and creativity to change those things in your life that you are now fully ready to see differently. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Now through the nose. Taking a few moments to come back into this body. Maybe bringing some movement to your fingertips and toes. neck and shoulders. And when you are ready, gently open your eyes. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this meditation. I hope that it allowed you to see those different areas where you can shift and change and, and creatively think about the situations and things in your life that can better serve you instead of staying in that tunnel vision routine kind of space. Where is it that you can bring in more of this creativity and look at your life through this lens of sensuality and really taking in all the senses and through the lens of beauty. Again, like I said in the beginning of this video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you've really been enjoying these new and full moon meditations. That thumbs up just lets me know that you guys are out there, you're watching this video and you're really taking a lot of information and learning a lot from it based on the information and based on what you discover about yourself. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos from me. I do loads of meditations on this channel. I love sharing meditations and I love hearing from you guys about how they are working in your life. So don't forget to drop a comment down below if you want to. Thumbs up, subscribe, drop a comment down below. Any of those things that you feel called to do, I will know that it is you saying thank you. And I am sending you guys lots of love, lots of gratitude. Don't forget to tune in to our full moon meditation that will be at the end of this month. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world.